and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna go through my handbags and I really need to start narrowing my handbags down and figuring out which ones need to get donated, which ones need to go, and really get my collection kind of parsed down to my most loved handbags, the ones that are gonna get used and really make it more visual as well. So let me take you over to my handbag cabinet and show you what I still have in there and show you the areas that we need to clear out. Here is my handbag cabinet over here in the corner. It's kind of got quite a bit of glare on it, but you can see it's right next to the closet door here. And it just provides a bit of extra storage for items. So they're behind glass, most of them except for the handbag hanging on the outside. They're behind glass and they're a little bit more protected. It's not completely in the sun, but you can see this top part gets hit by the sun from these windows that are open here on the top here in this current office that we're in in this house. And it has, you know, the remnants of a handbag collector that has been a handbag collector for a number of years. And I also have a number of varied interests. I really enjoy Disney. We go to Disney quite a bit. And so there's kind of remnants in here from a little bit of everything. Um, I need to start getting, you know, things out of here that it just got stuck in here after we moved and don't really need to be in here. There's a lot of stuff I can get cleared out. Like this perfume bottle is a great example. I used to use this as decor. I don't really care for it anymore. So I just need to get it donated. And I've had things kind of given to me. Uh, like my mom gave me this cute little guy. I just need to find a home for it if I'm going to keep it. Um, I also have some different planner items up here. And so I need to go through this stuff and figure out if I'm still going to use this, what I want to do with this stuff, and possibly get it in a little bit better area than just in the top of this cabinet. So there are a number of handbags in here that I do want to keep. I've actually got this Rebecca Minkoff bag fairly recently, and I got this as a replacement because I use this gray one constantly. And you can see I love this morning after clutch style. So I've got a number of those. I have a number of Dooney and Burke Disney bags because like I said, I'm a Disney fan. So I've got this Park Life crossbody. I've got this Animal Kingdom crossbody. And then there's just a number of other kind of plain Kate Spade crossbody bags and, and handheld bags back through there. I do have some Louis Vuitton accessories and handbags. I've gotten just a few of those back into the collection. I really love the Linciaga bags, so that's definitely a brand that I see myself getting more of in the future. There's some of these Kate Spade bags that I got at my previous job that I don't really feel like suit me anymore. I feel like I can get rid of some of those. And then there's some trusty bags down here that I've done reviews on, like these coach bags. And then these are just really fun to use. And I do use those for like events, <laughs> when we have the events, <laughs> um, and for, you know, an occasional work bag and things like that. So I need to go through all of these, kind of see if there's any of these that I think I'm not going to use anymore and get those kind of weeded out of here. So that way I can use the space the best way possible. So first things first, I'm gonna wipe down everything and try to get the dust off and clean the glass so that it's all clean. And then I'm gonna start consolidating the things in there um, that I know I wanna keep and then take out some of the things that I think I might not wanna keep. So I'm gonna take a swifter duster and just dust off all of the different shelves and wipe down the main areas. Well, this is kind of getting some of the extra dust that's gotten through the doors out. I'm taking all the purses out so I can figure out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. And then I will only put back in the ones that I want to keep. Then a lot of the stuff on the last shelf is either kind of little trinket stuff or things that really don't have anything to do with purses like planner stuff and magic bands. So I'm gonna get all of this out and figure out whether it's keep, get rid of, donate, and where it needs to go.
So here is the empty cabinet and I'm going to figure out what purses need to go back inside. The bottom there's just some miscellaneous storage for some purse boxes, some jewelry, accessory boxes, and also some books. And then down here are all of the small purses that were in the cabinet that I need to go through and pick out which ones I want to keep and which ones need to get donated and which ones possibly can get handed down to the girls. So first things first, I'm going to pick out the ones that I know for sure are keeps. So I know for sure I want to keep this. I know for sure I want to keep this one. I'm going to start pulling out the definite keeps out of the pile and then we'll go from there. I have a number of small clutch handbags. There is a Tory Burch one, a Kate Spade one, and a Henry Bindle one. They get used more for special occasions and of course right now we're not really going out of the house for much. But they're not things that I would want to rebuy all that much. So I'm going to stick those over there because I definitely like those for special occasions. Same things with these two small crossbodies. These are things that I would typically use more if I was traveling or if I was going to Disney. But of course, although we're not doing those special occasions a lot right now, um, in the future we'll hopefully have the event to do those. So I would like to save all of those crossbodies that I pretty much specifically use for those kind of travel type events. And like this one I got as a replacement. This one's brand new. These three are actually all different sizes. So these three are all very, very different. So I will tuck those away right there. This one could actually get donated. I've used this one a ton. I absolutely love this one, but you can see it's had better days. So I'll see if the girls just want to use it to play with, and that one can go over to this. So down here at the bottom, I have a little bit of space where I can tuck away some of the dust bags that I'm not planning on using, but I would use for travel or if we ever moved again. So I'm just going to tuck those up here so they're kind of out of sight, and I can have those accessible if I'd like to use those in the future. Handbags like this I like using for work special occasions, so I'm just going to stick them right there, and I can have a bag of mink off shelf, and I'll fix all of these um, different straps and all of that in just a minute once I know what's going to be up there. And then these coach handbags, I really like the satchel style. I think those are really pretty. Again, these smaller metallics I'll use for more of like a work event type of thing. So I'm going to put all of these on a shelf together. And some of the larger ones I'd actually use just for a day-to-day -day purse for work. So I'm just tucking the straps into those. And I'm going to tuck those there because those I will still use for some occasion. Same thing with this one. I also use that one for work occasionally and I'm going to keep all of those on that shelf together. I'm going to guess like I'm, I'm kind of grouping them by brands because this has all Coach on it. This has all Rebecca Mink on it. <laughs> Natalie's on. going through the purses over here and she's telling me what she might want to keep in the future or what she has an interest in. So for storage, I'm just tucking their straps into the bags for most of them if it fits down inside. So that way it just kind of looks a little bit cleaner as they're sitting here on the shelf. And I'm going to put most of my Rebecca Minkoff bags here on this shelf. There is a coat shelf here. I've got some Louis Vuitton down there. And then some Dooney and small clutches up here at the top. So here is the purse cabinet all cleaned out and a little bit more organized. I still think I have some more organization to do in the future. I actually have some area that I can decorate here on the top. I just got to be careful what purses and things I set over here to this left side because you can see like just this corner gets a little bit of sun. So I don't want anything to get kind of sun worn that gets put in that corner. But it's a progress. It's a work in progress. It's at least a start. So I can start looking at how much space I have and how I want to decorate the top. And it's got a good combination of some of my favorite items, Disney, and some of my favorite brands and things like that. I do not keep, just notably, most of my Balenciaga stuff in here because, of course, it stores flat. So I keep that stored in a different area. And yes, I do have way more purses than this. They're just stored in the closet and other areas in the house. But this is just what I have in the display cabinet, just as kind of a fun display in my office. But over here are some of the things that we weeded out. Natalie helped me here, and she's got some things that she's keeping, and she's going to put in her. Um, area and she wanted to borrow from me so she's going to use this purse which I think shabby. is cute. Is it shabby? Are you getting rid of it? Or are you, oh you're putting that over there? Okay. It's shabby. I don't like shabby purses. Okay so she's going to use these and then we are going to donate a couple Kate Spade purses and the older uh, Rebecca Mingoff purse and a snow globe that we no longer need. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this cleaning and organizing of the purse cabinet. I do have more purses, like I said, that I need to go through and really do a declutter and really sort out what I'm gonna keep, but this is a good start. 
So let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks for watching. Have a great day.